this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play A Link to the Past! Since last time, I went a little mad and spent all my rupees because, well, I realized that there's another stash of rupees that I was planning on getting, so I figured, yeah, let's just spend them all and we'll get more soon enough. So let's head on back to, uh, well, get some more of those rupees. And I'm going to show off some secrets today, since a lot of you guys have been requesting it. I, well, I wasn't originally planning on doing that, but I figured, well, so many of you guys are asking. I figured, well, why not? So, let's head on over here first. Not so much a secret, but uh, a secret stash that I want to show off. So, let's go grave robbing right over here! Yeah, kick-ass music is back! Ha! Get those losers out of the way. Ha! Yeah, with the Pegasus boots, you ever see those circular cracked walls? You can break them down with the Pegasus boots. Or shoes, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to call them boots. They look like boots to me. Here, we get 300 rupees. Awesome. But as for those cracked walls, or just the ones that are only slightly cracked, uh, those ones, you can't... Uh, those ones you cannot break down with the Pegasus boots. So, well... Stay away from me, bats. Umbrella! No. No. That doesn't work in this game. But yeah, the small cracked walls, you can only use bombs to get through. So, well, stay away from me, rats. Well. Well, hey, ho, ho, ho. Well, at least I got 20 reapers out of the game. How did I not take damage from that? Huh, that's weird. Well, I made it. And now, for the most devastating secret of them all. This is take six of this recording, viewers. I keep on screwing this up. It takes crack attack timing. Got 30 seconds. Do it! Go! Ha! Okay, so far so good. We're doing good. I might be a little quiet for this, because I need absolute concentration for this part. Just don't dash into anything. Okay, okay, we got past the hard part. We're doing good. Come on, make it! So far, so good. You can do it. Okay, come on. That should do it. That should do it. Yeah! Woo! I made it! Oh, it took me six recordings to get this damn room to work. If you go from the... What is that place? The Sanctuary. And you dash all the way over here in less than 30 seconds from what I've heard... It does some check some error thing, whatever. I don't know what it does. The game screws up, and for whatever reason, whenever the game screws up and you do a room transition, it sends you to this room. So, there you go. There's, I heard, like five entrances to get into this room, so the one I showed isn't the only one. But you can use it if you want. So, uh, let's get back to the village. There's a few more secrets I want to show off there. Phew, that one took me forever to record to get done correctly. I've been working on it for like the past half hour to try and get that to work. So, all right, there we go. Whew. I heard that that Chris Houlihan room, it was like some contest or whatever that the guy won. They said, hey, we'll put your name in a game, but then like no one ever figured it out for like years and years because we didn't have emulators at the time, but... Then once we saw the game code and everything like that, they figured it out. So I was like, oh, that's cool. Ha! Yeah, sometimes you dash into trees, you get little items out of the deal. So that's pretty nice. That one I knew about. Let's see, can I catch up to this guy from this angle? Ha! There we go. Oh, well, yeah, that is true. She did say I was a little fast for her. Oh, yeah, I kind of already knew about that, but thanks a lot. You just went into the trees? Now here's a secret that I did not know about. Ha! Yeah, you sprinkle fairy dust on her, or magic powder, she turns into a fairy. Don't worry, she'll come back once you leave the screen. Er, maybe not. Okay. One more secret and then we'll move on for today. I hope you don't mind me screwing around, showing off all these little secrets. Ha! There you go. Oh! Well, yeah, Zelda did say I was a real cock tease. Ha ha. You can even just walk right through her. You can't talk to her anymore. Like a glitch or something. I don't know. But Okay, well, that's all the secrets for today. There's a 
lot of secrets in the game, and there's no way I'm going to be able to show all of them in just this one little LP, but, uh, well, you get the idea. So, okay, well, that's everything we can do outside of getting the next pendant, so let's do it! I love all those Zora warps. If only there were an even more convenient way of getting them, or warping around. Uh, someone wanted me to show this off. Oh! Yeah, don't, uh, don't touch them. Not a good idea there. Can I get my heart back? No. But at least now that we have the power glove, we can go through here. Actually, you know what? There's... Yeah, there's one more thing I want to show off up here. Before it's too late. No. No. Okay, how's it going? Hmm, really? Oh, yeah, it was kind of hard to, uh, see through there. The Lumberjack Brothers. Okay, well, just something I wanted to show you off. A couple little NPCs there. Can I get my heart back now? Oh, I got rupees. They're giving me everything I want but the heart. I have to have full hearts. It's OCD. Ah, I don't want you spitting out more rupees. Well, let's head on through here now. We need to find a way to get up to that next... I think we go this way. Yeah, yeah, we go this way. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're going the right way. Okay. Phew. I forgot to look at a map before going to this area. Okay, sure, why not? We'll follow you around, or lead you out of here. Oh, yeah, that would be dangerous. Good thing I got the lamp. The lamp? Oh, yeah, that is true. Oh, well, I've already gone mad! So, don't worry about me. There we go. Okay, now we turn right here. Oh, really? Nuts. Oh, how do you know about that? Hmm. So you must be one of them too, if she's your granddaughter. Or a descendant, or something or other like that. Well, whatever. You hit these guys, they just turn to stone. There's probably a way to kill them, but I forget. Oh, really? I thought he killed them all. Well, yeah, that is true. Oh, and what do we get? The magic mirror! What good is that? Hmm, remember that for later. Uh, can I move before the boulders crush me to death? Thank you. Okay, how's it go? Well, he's kind of dead, but yeah. The moon pearl, huh? Well, I'll keep that in mind. But yeah, this is the third and final location that you can save and restart your game from. Right up here on Death Mountain. I like how they make it just like the first game where you have the boulders trying to crush you. Just like my other LP. I can't escape the rocks! They're, they, the game, video games just want to throw stones at me relentlessly. But anyway, now that we're up here... Oh, what's all that green stuff? Huh, that looks weird. I think I'm supposed to drop down there? Or is it here? Oh gosh, I can't remember. I think it's this one. It better be this one. Uh, nope, that was the wrong one. Okay. Of course I picked the wrong one. No, there's no way I'm re-recording after getting the Chris Houlihan room. No way. I forgot which one it is. So, sorry. Let's, uh, try that one again. I knew it was one of those two. I should have known. It's always the one that's farther away just to trick you. There we go. Yeah, this is the right room. Okay, I remember now. Well, let's see what's on up here. There's a whole bunch of caves around here that loop around and lead to other areas that really don't have much that's interesting. Except here. Haha! -ha! Why didn't my life get refilled? No, no, that's another game. Spectacle Rock, huh? Hmm. Oh, okay, I'll see if I can uh, find a way to uh, get up there. Oh, you know what? Let's just go down here. Whee! It's a little bit of a quicker way to get out of here. And if, ah, there we go. Now I can get my life refilled. My OCD is satisfied. Thank you. You want to be careful dashing all the way down here. Oh, oh okay. I'm thinking of another room. 
Never mind, I'm thinking of something else. I just like having my hearts refill, or er, all the way full from playing all the other Zelda games. Nuts. Although in this game, for some reason, I can't shoot beams out of my sword. What gives? Or at least not with this sword. Let's see. Okay, let's head on over here. Hmm, it's a dead end. Let's see what's in that portal there. What the? What's going on? I can't swing my sword to use my items. Where the hell am I? Uh-oh. Nuts. Oh, really? Huh, so that's what that guy was telling us about. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. But is there a trick that I can use to get out of this place? Find out next time on Let's Play A Link to the Past. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.